First, we will be making the beef marinade by adding garlic, lemon juice, olive oil, oh that's apple cider, this is olive oil, and lots of other spices na ilalagay ko sa description box. Yan, sobrang dami. And then, after adding these spices, we will mix. Mix nyo lang, and then add your beef cuts. Mas maganda yung may fat na part. Marinate this overnight, and gawin nyo na yung pita bread. By adding yeast, sugar, and half cup of flour sa bowl na may water. And then mix this, and let it sit for 15 minutes para mag-activate yung yeast. Add your salt, olive oil, and the rest of your flour. And mix nyo to form a dough. Mix, 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 mix. And then knead by hand for a couple of minutes. We need to rest the dough for 10 more minutes before kneading again. So sticky yung dough, so nagada ko ng flour, but be careful not to add too much flour. After 10 minutes of resting, knead again by hand for a couple of minutes, and then, ano yan? Ah, flour pa. So, i-knead nyo to form a smooth dough para hindi siya mag-stick sa inyong kamay. After this, we will be covering our dough and wait for an hour for it to rise. Bake your beef na it depends sa uh, beef cuts nyo kung gano'n siya katigas. Yan, after an hour, yung pita, hinate into 8 pieces, and then i-shape nyo siya into balls. And, yan, cover again for 10 minutes. Tapos, i-roll nyo na siya, i-flatten nyo siya by using a rolling pin. Bake your pita for 3 minutes sa preheated oven per side and make your tahini sauce by mixing tahini paste, lemon juice, and garlic. Assemble your shawarma by placing the pita bread and then adding your beef. Yan, pwede nyo siyang ishred or ibayaan nyo na lang na ganyan. And tomatoes and then add your tahini sauce. Kung gusto nyong maanghang, add some sriracha. This is 10 times better than Turks, people.